conspiracy against him. He writes like the mental patient he is, disjointed, irrational, paranoid. Now that's true, not that it makes the atrocities he committed easier to bear. If your daughter was murdered on Saturday in Buffalo, you wouldn't care why the killer did it or who he voted for. But the truth about Peyton Gendron does tell you a lot about the ruthlessness and dishonesty of our political leadership. Within minutes of Saturday's shooting, before all you the bodies were found, you might out, boy. You might try. You can't wiggle out of Democrats this one. A coordinated campaign He's to blame those murders. Like yeah, might try to wiggle out of this one. It's still on my plate. Patron Gendron was the heir to Donald Trump. They okay, so listen. I am sympathetic no to the broad nature okay. of immediately making political declarations. <clears throat> That's why often with these cases, I won't cover it the next day. In this case, it happened on a weekend, so we had time. To the extent that anybody, before we had information, made any claims that weren't yet based in fact, that's wrong, and I would denounce that. I didn't actually see that, but I also didn't pay attention to the news on the day of. I read about everything after the fact. But the manifesto can be seen only Speaks as an for almost itself. verbatim reproduction of the things we've heard from Tucker right. and from other right-wing media. Now, as I mentioned earlier, at one point, Tucker talked about Rwanda. He put up a quote from 2004 New York Times about Rwanda and the Rwandan genocide. Just, I mean, completely bizarre, bizarre stuff. And that at another moment, Tucker again focused on the, this was just a lone mentally ill guy. That's it. Because yeah. a mentally ill teenager murdered strangers, the guy, you cannot be allowed to no. express your political views out loud. That's what they're telling you. That's what they've wanted to tell you for a long time. But Saturday's massacre gives them a pretext, a justification. Uh -uh. So playing on the idea that all you of a sudden now, because of one mentally ill guy, completely disconnected from any political rhetoric, I mean, other than the fact that the manifesto right contains guy, verbatim guy, rhetoric from good. my show, me, me being speaking as Tucker here, what really this is about is about silencing your political views. Imagine being so depraved or dishonest, or ignorant, I don't know which it is with Tucker, to pretend that what this is really about is simply silencing the political speech of people like Tucker who just want to give their opinions. Now, again, this thing of mentally ill, when you look at the manifesto, it's articulate, fascist, it's cogent, racist, and semitic linked to God. ideas that we've seen propagated by Tucker and others, right. we will look at again later in the show. That's right. Something is obviously wrong with people who commit these acts of violence. But the mental illness, the merely mental illness line used to excuse the political reality of these people's motivations is immoral and or dishonest and maybe just ignorant, but I have a hard time believing that with Tucker it's ignorant. So a bizarre Tucker Carlson show, almost as bizarre, as what Ben Shapiro had to say, which we're going to go to next. Science has shown us that lowering your body temperature